this video is for anybody whose mask is a bit too loose, uh, either on the straps or on the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, you can do this at home, have a needle with some thread, doesn't have to be too long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two tucks, one on either side of this tuck. So as you can see, I'm going to go about an inch and a half or so in. And all I'm going to do is just go in. It's a little, it's going to be thick, so I might have to put a little pressure. I'm going to put it down here. It's hard to get through. So I'm just going to sew a little tuck. And all we have to do is go around maybe two to three times. Hey, I should do it like this. One, two, two, and three. I should do it. Okay, three times. So now what you can do is if you left enough thread at the bottom, you could just tie a knot like so. Oops, like so. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to cut this off. And then just cut that off. So I'm going to do the same thing. It's just like, well, this isn't very neat, but I always do it in a rush. So, but see, it makes a little tuck over there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Let's see, I'm going to make a knot this time. So here is the one tuck on this side, and I'll go in about the same distance on this side, make the little tuck. Like I said, the fabric is a little thick to do this, but I just put it down on a placemat, push the needle through without hurting yourself. All right, so say I did this three times just to make it secure. So you have a tuck on either side, and I'll show you, without cutting the needle off, how it then, see how it does? It comes in here tighter, and it also makes the ears a little tighter. So if you have that looseness, this accomplishes both things to fix it better. I hope that makes sense to you. Here, two tucks, and on either side, two tucks, these are both at the bottom. I always use the one with the stitching to put on the top. So I hope it works. Bye.